so this for example, I'll show you how. It's uh, yeah. handmade. So this is fabric, you know, hand tipped with a piece of string. This he had hand painted. So each one is different. There's limited, and this is based on a huge installation upstairs. I guess you know we can't show you a lot of work in the morning. So uh, they do these all just a little bit of a part of the uh part of stories of from patients talking about their life in the East End or the war, immigration, and we have preserved their very vernacular voice here. And they're all different categories. Yes. Yeah. And they're all um, with archival images, but the idea is that we develop them with dementia specialists and inside the dementia wards in addition. So Trigger's memory is now um, we're done in this corridor now. So we're just blocking people. So you need to show. Yeah. So a, a, a limited edition prints that we pay for, we produce, and then we sell them. All the money extend their work because. For example, some of these are deep in isolation wards, and you can't see the artwork. So it's a way for them to have an outward, and also to raise money for charity. Okay, I'll show you a few more. Some of them are handmade. This is a silk print. This is actually a collage. But behind it is a little, this one. It's, it's a Tesco, it's called a, Every Little Helps. It's a Tesco flyer behind. So he's trying to make something as mundane as a all hand painted and have been very successful. And I don't know. So, uh, hey, a little bit. I'll show you a, a project down here, which was actually made for the Greek cause in education. This is examples of work that we have upstairs on the fourth floor. This artist just shows these quirky little everyday images, everyday vignettes that are kind of humorous and these enlarged heads which carry with all the psychological ideas and dreams that everyone carries around with them. Yeah. So he just shows them doing everyday things. It's so fantastic you'll be able to incorporate art in lots of different ways. Mm -hmm. It's not just um, sort of a, a gallery installations and things. It is no. a lot interactive Absolutely. with the patients. The what I was going to mention, it, for example, speaking of that, these patients are in cystic fibrosis ward, so they can be in for weeks and months at a time. And the single ice urban park wraps around the unit, and as patients sadly have to return, yeah. sometimes they say, Oh, can I have another room so I can see the other vista oh, of that same oh. urban park? Yeah. This is a project that was given to us, made especially by Karun Mirza, who Nick knows now, a well-known artist, part of our hashtag one, and a privilege to bring great, significant, meaningful cultural encounters. And as a gallery, it's a good introduction, isn't it, yeah. into then having the confidence to step into, because yeah. some people feel, you know, they don't feel they've got the knowledge or so to step into um, gallery space, but actually it's a really good introduction. Yeah. yeah, I think it's so important mm -hmm. to, to make art inaccessible and yeah. to everyone. His books, you should do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I know you have young children, so this well, is, he's okay. a, become sort of this very celebrated I mean, children's George, author. That, that's very perfect. Yeah. You don't have to give me that. <laughs> and so I said, please, can you create something that's three dimensional? So these. Uh, he's rather, an author, he, yes, uh, or, uh, exactly. and an, and an illustrator? It, well, he, he does just child books, children's books, a little enterprise to support the children working there. And now he has lots of other designers to come use their services to organic dyes. And the lighting is it's from here. And the colour, the colour. Yeah, it's exactly from the colour. And, and just her dignity as well. And mm -hmm. I like a little bit of insistence. Yeah, it's pretty. Really That's lovely. Thank you. I should have a neck for anyone. Thank you, it's really lovely.